let's go visit the original home of the Toronto Maple Leafs. This is Maple Leaf Gardens. Maple Leaf Gardens is a historic building located in the northwest corner of Carlton and Church Street in downtown Toronto. The building was initially constructed in 1931 as an arena to host ice hockey games, though it has been since renovated for other uses. The gardens opened on November 12, 1931, with the Leafs losing 2-1 to the Chicago Blackhawks. Reported attendance on opening night was 13,542. Before moving to the gardens, the Toronto Maple Leafs had been playing in the Arena Gardens on Mutual Street. It was built in 1912 and held 7,500 spectators for hockey. By 1930, Leafs managing director Con Smythe decided the arena was too small and he wanted to build a new arena, larger and more impressive. After considering various sites, the site at the corner of Carlton and Church was purchased from the T. Eaton Corp. Limited for a price of $350,000 or $5.8 million in 2020. The price was said to be $150,000 below market value. The new 12,473 seat or 4,550, including the standing room arena, was designed by architectural firm Ross and McDonald. Considered to be one of the cathedrals of hockey, it was home to the Toronto Maple Leafs from 1931 to 1999 also served as home rink to all Toronto-based teams in the Ontario Hockey Association. The Leafs won the Stanley Cup 11 times from 1932 to 1967 while playing at the Gardens. On November 1st, 1946, Maple Leaf Gardens was the site of the first game in the history of the Basketball Association of America with the Toronto Huskies playing the New York Knickerbockers. The Raptors played their final game at the Gardens on February 9th, 1999. A few days later, on February 13th, 1999, the Toronto Maple Leafs ended a 67-year tradition when they played their final game at the Gardens, suffering a 6-2 loss to the Chicago Blackhawks. Deja vu, maybe? Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment refused to sell Maple Leaf Gardens to anyone who promised to use it as an arena in competition with the Air Canada Centre. Loblaws Companies, Canada's largest food retailer, purchased the gardens in 2004 for $12 million under the condition that it is not to be used as a sports and entertainment facility though MLSE eventually consented to allowing a small arena to be restored in the building. Maple Leaf Gardens was named a National Historic Site of Canada in 2007 because it was one of the most renowned shimmers in the history of hockey, the largest arena in the country when it was built. It was one of the country's foremost venues for large-scale sporting events, such as boxing matches and track meets, and non-sporting events, such as concerts, rallies, and political gatherings, religious services, and opera. The garden holds a special place in the country's popular culture. Here, Canadians welcomed a wide range of culture icons, such as the Beatles, to the Metropolitan Opera, from Tim Buck to the Canadians vs. the Soviets, from Winston Churchill to Muhammad Ali vs. George Travallo fights. Today, Maple Leaf Gardens is a multi-purpose facility, with Loblaws operating retail space on the lower floors, and an arena for Toronto's Ryerson University known as Madame Athletic Centre at the Gardens occupying the top level. When you head inside, you still see remnants of the arena, from where the benches used to lay, to the amazing sculpture using seats from the arena. Also, the lights that were used to light up the place are still here. But the best part of the whole place 
is when you're shopping for cat food and you're standing at center ice, just like the Maple Leafs did all those years ago. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below of where you'd like to see me go next. I'm going to see you all next time here.